हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू न्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ चैलेंजेस सीरीज ऑफ एसिलेटेड फिजिक्स द क्वेश्चन इज अ बॉडी ऑफ मास एम वाज स्लोली हॉल्ड अप द हिल एज सोन इन फिगर एज सोन इन फिगर बाय अ फोर्स एफ व्हिच एट ईच पॉइंट वाज डायरेक्टेड अलोंग अ टेंजेंट टू द ट्रैजेक्टरी फाइंड द वर्क डन परफॉर्मड बाय दिस फोर्स If the height of the hill is h, the length of its base is l, and the coefficient of friction is k. ये एक hill है, ये एक hill है. एक object को यहाँ से slowly, slowly, यहाँ से यहाँ तक ले जाया जाता है. F force लगाकर, ठीक है? ये hill rough है, और coefficient of friction जो है, that is k है. Coefficient of friction k है. इस object को यहाँ से इसके top point तक ले जाने में F का work done क्या होगा? That we have to find. This path is not straight. ये straight path नहीं है. ये एक कर्व पाथ है ठीक है लेंथ ऑफ बेस इज एल एंड दिस हाइट इज एच लेंथ ऑफ बेस एल एंड हाइट इज एच ओके लेट्स फाइंड सी हियर हाउ मेनी फोर्सेस आर एक्टिंग ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट सी वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड फोर्स इज वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड फोर्स इज एम जी पर पेंडिकुलर टू द कॉन्टेक्ट सर्फेस द फोर्स इज नॉर्मल फोर्स एंड अप्लाइड फोर्स एफ एंड बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन अलॉन्ग द प्लेन अलॉन्ग द प्लेन अलॉन्ग द कॉन्टेक्ट सर्फेस द फोर्स इज फ्रिक्शन फोर्स हाउ मेनी फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग हियर फोर फोर्सेज एम जी एम जी फ्रिक्शन फोर्स नॉर्मल रिएक्शन एंड अप्लाइड फोर्स एफ ओके वी कैन राइट लेट से हियर एट एनी इंस्टेंट एट एनी इंस्टेंट लेट से जूम द स्लोप इज ड्रॉ अ टेंजेंट हियर दिस विल बी द स्लोप एट एनी इंस्टेंट टी द ब्लॉक इज हियर एंड स्लोप विल बी This line will be the tangent, and this angle theta. If this angle is theta, tan theta will be the slope. Okay. At this instant, we can break mg into two components: this component and this component. Perpendicular to the contact surface, perpendicular to the contact surface, and parallel to the contact surface. Perpendicular to the contact surface component will be mg cos theta, and parallel to the contact surface force will be component will be component of mg will be mg sin theta. Right. And normal force will be equal to mg cos theta normal force ka value ho jayega mg cos theta right friction force can be written as k into n coefficient of friction multiply normal force can be written as k times of mg cos theta okay k times of mg cos theta this is friction force this is normal force right mg force vertically downward and f force along the contact surface we can find work done by friction force what will be the work done by friction force work done by friction force see here work done by friction force let's assume for a very small displacement or for a very small displacement dr dr friction is in backward direction opposite to dr right the angle between friction force and displacement is how much 180 degree right work done by friction can be written as f dot dr friction force is how much k times of mg cos theta dot dr into dr into cos 180 degree right because the formula a dot b a dot b equals a b cos theta where theta is the angle between a and b here the angle between F and dr, F and dr is 180 degree because both are opposite to each other, right? Cos 180 degree is minus one. It comes out to be we can write it minus k times of mg dr cos theta. Now see here, what is dr cos theta? Dr cos theta can be written as dr is along the plane. Okay, let's assume this point as origin, this direction as x-axis, and this direction as y-axis. This is y-axis. Therefore, dr cos theta. dr cos theta will be dx see dr in this direction this is dr this angle is theta this component will be dr sin theta and this component will be dr cos theta dr cos theta is along x axis okay here dr cos theta will be along x axis we can write minus k mg into dx dr cos theta is dx this is dw this is small work done dw dw equals dw f small work done by friction force equals minus k mg into dx total work done by friction force comes out to be integral of minus k mg into dx it comes out to be x will vary from this point to this point okay for this point the value of x is zero and for the topmost point here the value of x is l okay zero to l it comes out to be minus k into l into mg or we can write it we can write it minus k into mg l this is work done by friction force okay now see here next is work done by work done by normal work done by normal will be zero because normal is always perpendicular to the displacement every time work done by gravity work done by gravity will be 
minus m g h work done by gravity will be minus m g h because this height is h we have to find work done by applied force f we can apply work energy theorem here work energy theorem applying work energy theorem we can write work done by all forces equals change in kinetic energy work done by friction plus work done by gravity plus work done by normal plus work done by applied force capital f equals change in kinetic energy it is slowly pulled up from here to here right initial kinetic energy zero final kinetic energy zero we can add final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy zero minus zero work done by friction it is how much minus work done by friction is we have already calculated minus k mgl minus k mgl work done by gravity minus mg h work done by normal zero work done by f we want to find equals zero from here we can write work done by the applied force f equals mg into h plus kl this is work done by applied force f okay this will be the final answer if you have any doubt you can comment thank you